You think you're lost in life. You think you're confused. You've reached one of those crossroads. But what if the whole human game was about getting lost? What if that was part of nature? What if, if without the lost, there would be no found? This is the seeker's dream. This is the excitement. It's almost like if you could foresee everything, all the steps, everything that's just about to happen and all the outcomes, would that be life anymore? Would that be meaningful anymore? Too many people are going through life trying to find what is that purpose? What is that goal? Why does this happen? Why does that happen? Why do things happen to me? Yet what they don't realize is that every challenge along the way is the thrill. It is the game. That is the human game of existence. <laughs> A lot of people, they say, they say then life is meaning, meaningless. You're saying there's no purpose to it. You're saying we should just, what should we do? We should just keep moving forward aimlessly. The Chinese have this saying, talking about purposelessness, the art of living that way. In every moment, we just go through life, living one moment at a time. With no confusion, yes, there's for sure the unknown, but that unknown is the surprise. It's almost like a lot of the time when you watch a movie and it's so predictable. You know exactly what's going to happen. You knew exactly how it was going to end and everything was going to be happily ever after. Yet at the same time, you finish that movie thinking, well, it was a little bit too predictable, huh? <laughs> And it's funny because those moments where you watch a movie and there's a twist at the end, the unforeseen, the surprise, you feel the sensation like, ooh, <laughs> that was a good movie. So life is simple. You either go through it confused confused because you don't know which way to go but what if any way you go will always lead you to your destiny you always feel lost what should i do now your calling your higher calling your higher purpose the destiny in which you are supposed to arrive is that of joy is that of love is that of positivity so i always say to people i say living life is easy if you enjoy something, then stay with it. If you don't enjoy it, then you must leave it. And then people think, well, that's easier said than done. When you're in a situation and you have that human attachment to a specific someone or a specific situation or something that you've created is very hard to let go. I always say to people, I say, it's much harder and it's much tougher to hold on, is it not? When you finally get yourself to let go, you clear that space for new things to come into your life. And of course, in those moments, there will be pain. It will be difficult. 
because you are used to that thing. That's human attachment. But always understand as nature has it, there are no storms that last forever and pain is only temporary. Move through it. Keep your head up high and keep moving forward. Destiny, it will reveal itself. For sure it will. Just keep moving forward. If you follow your mind, you'll be stuck because the mind of yours is not your mind. Your mind is purely the conditioning from other people. But the heart of yours, that feeling, that energy in motion, that emotion, that pull towards something, that's your dharma. That's your calling. That's your intuition. And that's the universe taking you to exactly where you need to be. But the real question is, do you have the courage to keep moving with that feeling and trust 